All right, hi students. So today we're gonna try to attempt to draw a praying mantis. Um, it looks like a really complicated bug, but actually it's just a series of like long rectangular shapes and smooth lines that just all kind of connect to each other. And then I used crayon to color mine, but you guys can use whatever you'd like. Just like with any other drawing, you guys can always add more things. So if you wanna have your praying mantis wearing a top hat or a necklace or whatever, you guys can always add more things. Let me walk you guys through the basics and how to get this praying mantis drawn. That way you guys can add all your fun stuff to it later. Okay, let me get my camera in a spot and I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see a little bit better. And so that I can draw in a much easier direction. Okay, so first thing, I would recommend get yourself a nice piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser. This can be a kind of kind of complicated drawing um, if you haven't done it before. So, first thing, we need to draw our praying mantis's head. So somewhere on the upper left-hand side of my paper, I'm going to draw kind of a U-shape and then connect it through the top. Okay, so this is where we're gonna add a big eyeball. And make a little pupil. <laughs> and because the other eye's on the opposite side, we're only really gonna see that. Maybe an antenna or two. Some pincers. And maybe a little tongue in the middle. <laughs> it's got a lot of personality just by adding this little eyeball. <laughs> There's this big eyeball with a little pupil. Okay, so our next part is the praying mantis is going to have a long neck. So from somewhere up here, we're going to come down and give our praying mantis a long neck like that. We're going to start out with that first arm. And just to begin, we're going to do a longer piece like that. And then we're going to come up. And it's almost like a rounded triangle. So now he's going to have little pieces coming off the top here. And for some more details, we're going to add some little pincers down the side. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to kind of give him a little bit more volume to his neck. And we're going to do the other arm. Now the other arm is going to be a little further away. So we want to have this one's going to be a little shorter. We're going to still give him that arm with a little bit of a swoop. Bring it up and over. See you guys, it's a little bit behind the first one. So everything's going to be smaller and it might be blocked by the one in front of it. If you can squeak in a couple of these spikes, go right ahead. All right, and even up the arm, we're gonna put a couple. All right, we're looking good so far. Next, we have to start giving him some legs. So we are gonna give it a little bit of a base here for his back. And we're going to give him some legs. So the legs are going to start out with like a little spot right here. And again, just like the arms, it's going to be a series of just pieces all put together. And then like a longer one here. And a little foot piece. And another little foot piece. If you guys want, this is where you can be creative. You can have your praying mantis wearing roller skates for all I care. They'd be so funny, actually. Um... Okay, so next we're going to do kind of another little piece here. I'll leave that alone for a sec. We, we need to put in the other leg. So something similar, but maybe a little smaller because it's going to be further away. Just be conscious that you don't accidentally draw over the front one. And your leg can go this way or that way. You can have them going in different directions if you'd like to. All right, so next we're gonna give them some back legs and the back legs are gonna look kind of like a cricket. So here we go. We're gonna have this one 
kind of finish up his belly here. We're going to have a piece here that's going to come down and up. And then the back leg, we're going to have a piece that comes all the way up here like a cricket. And then back down. And just like those front pieces, you're going to add those little legs like that. I do think we need to finish up this guy's underbelly. Okay, now we have to add another leg, but I think we should close this up before we do that. So let's connect all this up. Pick up your pen so it makes a lot more sense. And we're going to do the other leg. And remember, the other leg is going to be just like this one, except it's going to be behind. All right. And I might bring it down a little bit here and then give them the little foot pieces. Oh, he looks great. <laughs> okay. Now here's the, here's, I don't know if it's the difficult part, but we need to add some color. So what I did with mine is I kind of had my light source up here. All right. So I kind of pretend to put a little light bulb. That way I know the top pieces of my uh, praying mantis are going to get a lighter color. And then the under pieces, the parts that are furthest away, are going to have the darker color. Typically, they're green, but you guys can make yours any color you'd like. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with this.